Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this one, I want to show my take on the latest challenge from our Discord server. If you want to join these kind of challenges, all you need to do is join the Discord server or follow me on Instagram. Now let me show you what I did. This is my final result. It is looking pretty fine. And now let me show you the whole process. I'm going to start with a cube. Let's add this one in, then go into object mode and adjust the raw size. Now I will make it editable, then go into edge mode, select that edge, right click, and then I'm going to bevel that edge with two subdivisions so that we have that diagonal edge in the middle of the rounding. Let me do that one more time. It seems like we need more offset. So something like that is what we need. Next up, we need to correct the topology as we have some end guns. To do that, I'm going to add in that loop to the bottom. Right click, loop cut tool, add this one in. Then I will grab the line cut tool, connect that point to that one. We should do the same thing on the other side, line cut tool. Next up, I will drop a loop around here, but it seems like I wasn't able to connect those points. So let's do that real quick with the polygon pen tool. Loop cut tool, and then I'm going to position it around here so that I can connect those points and this time around I'm going to use connect points and edges tool or you can use the shortcuts double M on the keyboard next up I will drop in another loop here so that I can connect these edges now we have all quads but it is not enough the reason is whenever it comes to this kind of roundings they need a sporting edge especially right next to starting point of the rounding and the end point of the rounding so I'm going to drop a loop, then increase up the segments. Okay, these are looking even. The same thing around here. A loop cut in the middle, then increase up the segments. Next up, I'm going to drop in another loop, then increase those up until we have something even, like 9. Plus, this is going to give us that edge loop exactly at the center of the object, which will make it easier for us to mirror it on the other side. Now that I got the cube, now we can start to work on the cylinder. I'm going to add in a cylinder, then go into object mode and adjust the raw size of it. Just like what we did with the cube. So we need something like that. Now let me try to give you some context about the process. Basically, I want to mesh the crossing edges. The idea is simple, but execution of it is a bit tricky and challenging. But as long as you have a primitive object that you can adjust the segments, you will be okay. So as I mentioned, we need to mesh the crossing edges more or less. It doesn't have to be perfect. And in addition, I want to move the cylinder just a little bit along the z-axis so that I can have a little bit gap between these two components so that I can use this gap to my advantage. I know that may not make sense. Maybe I should try to explain it by drawing. So eventually I will need to add in those edges you know what let's go to the cylinder and remove the height segments as these don't do anything to the shape moreover they make the process way harder than necessary so i will just remove them completely then let me add in those lines eventually we are going to add in those edges in and then we are going to have that point and we can use this point to add in a loop that goes around the cylinder which will secure the components of the cylinder which means that we can do anything we want with those points. I will add in the same type of loop on the cube as well. This is going to give us the flexibility to play around with the points in between these two loops on each side. Now let's delete that and select the cube and put it into a boolean. Then I will put the cylinder below it. Boolean object is set to union by default so we don't have to make changes. I just need to make this cylinder editable. I will do that. Select those polygons by holding right mouse and move this down just a little bit more. Then we are ready to make the boolean editable just in case you can duplicate it. I will tap C. And first thing first, I'm going to delete that half. Then start to work on that area. So as I mentioned, I'm going to need these loops around here. Then I will start to connect these points. Let's use the connect points and edges. Now 
Next up, I'm going to grab the line cut tool and start from that point and go around the scene dish. By doing so, I can do anything I want with those points as changing the position of them will not affect the remaining part of the cylinder because we have a protection loop. Speaking of that loop, I'm going to add in the same type of loop on the cube that follows the crossing section. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are going to fix them later on. Now, let's select the polygon pen tool because I am about to correct the topology. This one is fine. I need to connect these ones. I'm going to connect these ones one more time. Then I can connect those points. That one to that one. Hold on control. Get rid of this H and these ones. Now we have a triangle over here. To get rid of it, I can simply add in those edges and get rid of that one. We can also delete that polygon by holding control and to fix up the bottom why don't we just remove that one and then add in a loop around here then connect that point to that one and delete those edges next polygon pen tool i will delete that edge again I will quickly merge these points, but make sure that you don't select something that you don't want to merge because we are using the rectangle selection. Let's get rid of that triangle. And next up, I'm going to select these ones. Hold on control, extrude them twice. Then polygon pen tool. Connect those points. Finally, I will select these ones. I will leave out that edge. Hold on control, extrude. And then flatten out those edges along the X. I will zero out the position first, then zero out the size. Then polygon pen tool. Connect these points. We have an empty point over here, but I'm going to fix that later. Next step, let's drop this one into a symmetry. I will enable the weld option. We need to adjust the components. I will go to the top view and select those points in the middle, then come down to the coordinates and zero out the exposition and X size. Now the symmetry should work without any problem. I think it is time to put this one into SRD. Okay, pretty good result. Obviously, we need to tighten up the edges that we need to sharpen up. So I'm going to select these edges, Alt and Shift, double click on them, then apply bevel tool. I will just change the mod to solid, then bevel them out. Let's enable sub D perfect except for that part i forgot to include this one to my selection so let's apply the tool again remember we should be doing it in the solid mode looks nice finally let me fix the bottom polygon pen tool I'm going to connect that one to that one and that one to that one so that I can get rid of that H. Now we have all quads. Let's enable CMD. If we have time, you can even add the polygon sizes at the bottom. And it seems like you forgot to merge these ones. So as I said, if you have time, you can spend more time adjusting the sizes of these polygons. But since this is the bottom part, I don't think we need to spend more time on those ones. Next up, again, my bad. I forgot to include those edges to my selection. So let me bevel them out real quick. And then the polygon pen tool, I'm going to connect those points and then get rid of these ones. Enable sub D. If you are getting these kind of sharp edges, 
you need to select the font tag of the object and then turn off the edge breaks and increase up the angle. By the way, I forgot to bevel out those edges. So let me show you how you can do that. I will grab the Lanka tool, hitting those edges on each side. And then get rid of this, this diagonal edge. Now we need to cap off the top. I will make the symmetry to double. Move it up, right click and then apply the close polygon hole tool. I will go into patch mode so that I can rotate these around to say 5. Now I'm going to bevel these out the same way I beveled out all the sharp edges. As a final touch, just to keep things as uniform possible, I will drop in a loop around here. So this is my take on this challenge. Now let's take a look at what other people did. This one looks very good, very similar to what I did. By the way, I'm not saying that what I did was the best. If you know a better way, just let me know anytime you want. The only problem with this one is that area. These edges are too close to each other and that situation may create some artifacts around here. This one is also has the same issue. These edges are too close to each other. This is a big no when it comes to curved surfaces. But as long as it is not that visible, it is okay. This one is looking perfect to me. Look at those polygons. They are about the same in size, which is something we want when it comes to curved surfaces. This one is also perfect. Plus, he made a render out of it. Nice job. And this one, yeah, this is also another great example of how we can utilize the idea. You need to keep those polygons about the same in size. I hope you did enjoy and learn something new. If you have any questions, just let me know. By the way, there will be more challenges similar to this one. So make sure that you join the Discord server of the channel. So this is going to be it for this tutorial. I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. And I will see you in the next ones. Bye.